Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salah ar-Rahman here. And continuing the topic of even and odd signals, in which today we see some examples. Okay. And example, I see, I would write over here would be I would discuss over here would be on the components of even and odd signals. Sorry, on the even and odd components of the signal. Okay. So if I write down the question, so the question would be to find the even and odd components of the following signals, right? Off. So anyway, the first signal that I take over here is let's say x of t it is equal to cos of t plus sin of t plus cos of t into sin of t so let's say this is the first thing okay and we are asked to find out the well if we are asked to find what if, if, if this signal is even or odd so you directly time reverse it which means you put t is equal to minus t if the x of minus t is the same as this x of t this is an even signal if it's equal to negative of this signal then it is equal to an odd signal if it's neither so this is neither odd neither not even so i told you any general signal uh, can be written as a components as a sum of the even and odd components so let's say this is any general signal in which we have the even components also and the odd components also so we have discussed the formulas to, to find out the even component. So the even component is what? It's half the magnitude of x of t plus x of negative t. And similarly, the odd component of any signal is half of x of t minus x of negative t. And I believe this is correct. It is. So, for this signal we find out we, we have x of t so we don't have x of minus t so we find x of minus t in this case so x of minus t would be what it would be cos of minus t plus sine of minus t plus cos of minus t into sine of minus t now from the properties we know that uh, we know that what cos of minus theta is equal to cos of theta Cos is an even function, right? Cos is an even function. So cos of minus theta is equal to cos of theta. This we know from our basic mathematics, right? And sine is an odd function that is sine of minus theta is equal to minus sine of theta. Isn't it so? So this equation could be written as this. X of minus t is equal to what? Cos of t. Uh, minus sine of t now and have a look this is plus so plus cos of t and this minus so you have a minus cos of t sine of t so this is x of minus t so have a look this function is neither even nor odd directly so what is it it is composed of even and odd components so for the components what do we do is for x even of t for x even of t we have half of x of t is this which is cos of t plus sine of t plus cos t sine t and then we add to it this one so plus cos of t minus sine of t and minus cos t sine t so have a look uh, this uh, sine t sine t would, would cancel out and cos t sine t with cos t sine t would cancel out so the x even of t would come out to be this 2 would cancel out with this 1 plus 1 okay this 1 this 1 and so this 2 would cancel out so we would have x even of t equal to cos of t in this case so now obviously the remaining would be odd but we would write it okay so x odd of t so this will be 1 over 2 times cos t plus sine t plus cos of t sine of t now we have to minus this thing so minus cos of t uh, plus 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 sine of t 
प्लस साइन टी कॉस टी फाइन सो नाउ व्हाट विल हैव अलग हैव अलग कॉस टी एंड कॉस टी विल कैंसिल अलग सो यू विल हैव टू टाइम्स साइन ऑफ टी एंड टू टाइम्स कॉस ऑफ टी सो दैट विल कैंसिल अलग विद दिस टू वी टेक टू कॉमन राइट दिस इज वन साइन थी दिस इज वन साइन थी वन साइन कॉस टी वन साइन कॉस टी सो टू टू और इफ आई राइट इट सो इट वुड बी हाफ ऑफ टू टाइम्स साइन ऑफ टी प्लस टू टाइम्स साइन टी कॉस टी सो नाउ यू टेक दिस टू कॉमन एंड इफ आई डू इट अगेन से पॉइंट सो दिस वुड बी टू डिवाइड बाई टू टाइम साइन टी प्लस साइन टी कॉस टी and this implies that 2 2 has cancelled out and x odd of t is sin t plus sin t cos of t is that fine so this is the first example okay let's say we do another as well so for which i would remove all of this fine i hope it is clear The next that we see over here, what now? Let's say we a graphical approach. So let's say we are given any function like this. A graph is given. This is t. The function is let's say x of t. What do you have? It's a line like this. This point is four. This point is negative two, and. This point is plus two, isn't it, sir? Yes, it is, and this is zero, of course. So let me shorten this. So this is your time axis and the x of t. Now, in this case, we are asked to find the even and odd components. Okay. So now, for even component, you know that we need what? We need the time reversed signal. Have a look. For even component, we need the time reversed signal, and then we have to add it with the original signal. So for e one, we need what time folded signal or time reversed signal signal, right? So and what is the time reversal? Time reversal is the shifting about the it's the it's the mirror image about this uh, this y axis. So we would flip it over here and you would flip this side over there. So, which means that we require x of minus t. Fine. So, so what would be x of minus t? So, have a look. It would be like this. This is if t. This is x of minus t. So, this line would come to this side now. This is two. This is four. And this would be negative two. Now, you can do it a step wise. Okay, you put t is equal to negative t. So you can do it step one, like I did it while explaining this time transformation. Over here, these are examples, so I'm going a little directly to save a little time. Okay. Now this is x of negative t. So now what do you have to find the even component? You need to add x of t and x of negative t. So we'll add it step wise. So the first step is let's say from negative two to zero. Okay. So have a look. We have over here. We have a linear function. Over here we have a DC function. So how to add these two a's? I tell you, okay. I tell you DC plus linear. DC plus linear. How to do it? So you do what? You 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 shift it. You shift the line by the amount of the DC. Okay. You shift the line. By the DC amount, and the line will have the same slope with the same slope. Okay, and I will explain this point now. Is that fine? It is. So, which means now we require x of t plus x of negative t. So, if this is the case. This is t, and let's say this red color. Okay, 
uh, not red. Let's say it be the blue. X of t plus x of negative t. So which means we are adding this x of t linear, x of negative t dc. So the line is what? It's from from 0 to 4, right? From 0 to 4. So now what do you do? The dc quantity is what? It's 4 again. Right? The dc quantity is 4. So which means you shift the line by 4 units and the line will have the same slope. Which means if the line was previously from 0 to 4, now if you are adding it a dc quantity 4, now this line would be from 4 to 8. So if this is point 4, this is point 8, the time would remain the same from negative 2 to 0. So if this is negative 2, so this is your 4 and this is your 8, so you have it like this. Is that fine? Now again have a look, at the right side from 0 to 2, we again have a DC plus a linear quantity. So have a look, now this line, this line would now again be shifted upwards because over here the DC level is 4. So this line was from 0 to 4, now this line would be from 4 to 8 because we have added a 4. So this would be from 4 to 8, with the time would be from 0 to 2 again in this case. Is that fine? All right. Now, now what to do is that I could also mention it like this. Fine. Now what do we need is we need the half of this for even and odd signal for for the even signal. So half of this would be what I would directly write. Uh, I would directly multiply it with a half. And I would say that this is the graph of x e1 of t. So what the half means what? That the amplitude you are multiplying the multi the, the amplitude with the 1 over 2. So which means the multi the amplitude would become half and it would become 4. And uh, so initially it started at 4 and ended at 8. So you have divided it by 2. So now it would start at 2 and it would end at 4 because you have divided the y axis y you have divided the y axis by 2 so this red color this represents the e1 function e1 component of this particular function now for the odd function for odd function what do we need is that for odd function we need time folding this is x negative of t and we also need the amplitude folding of the time folded signal so for odd we also need amplitude folding of time folded signal and then reverse it and then uh, and then we need the sum not reversing okay so so have a look okay let's say let's say this is the function now i would draw it over here this would come down right so if this is t so i write this to be x of t negative no 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 we i need first x of negative t first i need negative times x of negative t Yes, yes, wait, wait, wait. I made a mistake. First I need is negative time x of negative t. So what would be that case? You flip it over the x axis, okay? So how do you flip it? Uh, so this was from 0 to 4, now it would be from 0 to minus 4. If this is 0, this is minus 4. So, so this would be like this. Till minus 2 and then till plus 2, you will have this line. Now this is negative x of negative t. Now you have to do what? You have to add these two signals. So now I need space. Now I need a space. So let's say I, I make this what? Make this smaller, okay? Like this. 
if this is you know at this field axis this is t this is negative x of negative t this would be 0.2 this would be 0 negative 2 so you have it like this negative 4 and then this line now it would be fine okay so now we add it okay so so let's say this is now this function like this this is your time axis and this is your what this is x of t minus x of negative t so again it is have a look it's a uh, x of t minus x of negative t so which means this is not the case now you have to add these two this and this so so if you're getting confused i would just remove this part of it so we have x of t added with x negative x of negative t so this will be like this dc plus linear so again you would have uh, a shift by the dc amount of the line with the same slope in that case the dc amount was 4 it was positive we shifted the line upwards in this case the dc amount is negative 4 it's negative we will be shifting the line downwards by the same amount how is that have a look this line is from 0 to 4 you have it uh, you have the DC level negative 4 so which means if the line was starting at 0 ending at 4 you bring it a 4 unit downward it starts at negative 4 ends at 0 isn't it so so it start at negative 4 it ends at 0 so it's the same slope having the same slope like this like this is that okay it is fine all right now for the for the next axis for the next part which is for the positive part so have a look over here now the dc level is positive 4 the line is like this so which means you shift the line upwards by 4 units so this line is starting at negative 4 it's ending at 0 now it would start at 0 and at positive 4 so which means the same line now this is negative 2 let me mention it like this and if this is your positive 2, so this would be like this. And this would be 4. Is that okay? Now we have x of t, negative x of negative t, but we also have to multiply this 1 over 2. So for our signal, so where is the green color? It's right here. So, so I would multiply 1 over 2 in the same signal with it. So you, which means you multiply 1 over 2 to the all vertical axis. So you have now this point would come down to 2. Isn't it so? Wait. This would also come down to 2. And yes. So this would now go to 2 and this word negative 2 so which means now the function would start like this it will start at negative 2 and it will end at a positive 2 so this is the odd component of the function fine let me mention it x or of t and that's all that's all for the second example i also have another example but if i mention if i do it over here so it will take a lot of time so i say i let it to the next video so see you there very soon inshallah till then take care goodbye